We're here at the uh, the Little Bighorn Battlefield mm -hmm. uh, where Custer fell. That's the, the most that it's famous for. Yes. Is uh, where the 7th Cavalry Regiment fell. Before you actually get up to the monument and see where Custer fell, uh, as soon as you pull in here, there's the National Cemetery. Yes. Which I didn't know that it was even here. I didn't know there was a National Cemetery here. But it's very cool. Yeah. And uh, so it, it got full in 1978. So it's it's full. Yeah. No it more reached people. capacity in 78. Yeah. So if you are the spouse of a service member who was already buried here, that's the only people that are still allowed to be buried here. Because yeah. they already have a space. And they really just stack them on top of each other. So it's not they already got a space. But no new service members. So you won't see anybody from any modern wars. No. This is going to be Spanish-American War, Civil War, um, Korea, Vietnam, World War, War I and II. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, that's all I've seen so far. We're gonna hang out here because we like exploring uh, graveyards yeah. and cemeteries. So we're gonna hang out here and just kind of uh, just get a grasp on some of the history out so, here. Yeah. And then we're gonna go up to the monument and see where Custer fell. Alrighty. Well, now we're up on the hill and um, as you're coming up the hill you look out through this meadow here and you can see little white headstones yeah. scattered throughout the battlefield those are markers of where um, soldiers fell. or indians fell yeah. you see the uh the red markers are where indians or horses fell yeah and then the white markers are where u.s troops fell yeah. and up here on top of the hill you can see this is where the highest concentration of these markers are and that's because if you see this black marker back here mm -hmm. that's where custer fell and you can see the formation of these of these stones so you can kind of take yourself back to that time and you can see that these troops were trying to protect yeah. their colonel the they're center. trying to, yeah they're trying to protect their guy yeah unfortunately they were not successful mm -hmm. and they all fell right here on this hill and then as they're moving out uh leaving out or still fighting their way out of here mm -hmm. other soldiers and indians are falling on the battlefield as they're continuing continuing the fight the reason that this place is near and dear to my heart is that uh, my first duty station was with the 7th Cavalry Regiment. Yes. Uh, I wasn't out here in Montana. No. <laughs> I was in Korea, so I was in the 4th Squadron, 7th Cavalry Regiment. But um, the Army does a pretty good job when you get to units on, on educating you on your unit's history. Yeah. And especially when you're competing in boards and yeah. things like that, you need to know your Test unit's history. Knowledge. So I learned really quickly um, when I showed up to Korea in the 7th Cavalry mm -hmm. Regiment the significance of the history of, of the regiment and Gary Owen. So very cool to be yeah. able to finally come out here and see this mm -hmm. uh, after being a, a part of the 7th Cavalry yeah. history. Very cool. Very cool. You know, normally we just try to show stuff, but I, for stuff like this, I like to talk about the emotion that's attached to it yeah. and the feelings that are attached to it. So they were fighting out here in June. Mm -hmm. It's hot. Because right now we're in July and it's hot. So I know June's hot also. Yeah. You're out here in the prairie land. Wide open. Fields. No There's trees. no shade. Yeah. There's no relief. You're wearing wool because you're Union soldiers. Yeah. You're, you're, and, and so it's like navy blue wool well, yeah. in Dark June colors in out here. Not good. And you're up on this hill and all of a sudden you're surrounded yeah. every direction you look there's indians, indians yeah. around you and i can only imagine the feeling of sitting on top of this hill knowing you're probably gonna die today yeah, you're because there's no help no reinforcements on the way yeah you're on top of this hill you're outnumbered mm -hmm. and there's nowhere to go yeah. You imagine what that feeling is like? No, I don't want to. I mean, and it's overwhelming. And then the the discipline of the soldiers to not just you try just, to run away. Your instinct is to run, retreat. But they did the exact opposite. Yeah. They rallied around their leader, as you saw up here on these fallen headstones yeah. around Custer. 
So they did the opposite of run and they stayed and protected their leader until yeah. they fell around him and then he fell. So that's that's discipline and dedication. Yeah. But you know they were scared. Oh, they had you to. You know they were scared. So I just wanted to talk about the emotion that's attached to this place because you can see it on the camera, you can see all the, the headstones, yeah. and you're like, oh, okay, cool. But man, there's way more to it than that. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we talked about the troops that, that fell here and we talked about the uh, Indian warriors that fell here, but we haven't talked about yet are the ponies. The ponies. Lots of horses lost their lives yeah, here in this battle. they did. Unfortunately. And they're just, uh, they're just victim of circumstance. They just happen to be uh, cavalry horses and uh, and actually, in the military, the cavalry horses are actually considered service, service members. Yes. Yeah, just kind of like the working dogs for the police, the canines are uh, considered officers. The horses are considered uh, service, service members. Yeah. And so they get honored the same way as a fallen soldier. Yes, so they, they get do. headstones and markers out here just like everybody else because they did. They fought in the war they too. They served. Yeah. They Um, as you travel through the battlefield, you'll notice that rarely you will find a marker by itself. Yes. And that's because, you know, the all armies... Through, all through history, it's, you have a battle buddy. You'll never leave a fallen comrade. Right. So they yeah. all often fell in pairs. Uh, we already talked about it with Jerry on, on his channel. So he's going to do a video including us talking about uh, a little bit about this. So we'll leave a link in the description below if you want to go watch. Uh, Jerry and Teresa's video from Happy Place Diaries because they're out here with us today and uh, exploring and doing a little vlogging too. So I've been talking a little bit on their video. So we talked about this on theirs. So I'm not going to beat it to death on ours, but yeah. go watch theirs. It's nice. Yeah. So when you're thinking about Custer, um, where we're standing right now is where the battle where, where Reno fought. And it's about five miles from the Battle from the of Little battle Bighorn yeah. over there where Custer was. So you're thinking like, why... Where were reinforcements for Custer? Well, they were over here. And the reason that they couldn't get over there, A, because it's five miles away and five miles back then a long took way. a while to get to. Yeah. But the other reason is they started, they're over here across the uh, the, the river mm -hmm. and they start getting attacked by Indians. And so they come this way, they retreat into the woods over there. They fight for about 30 minutes with, uh, with several Indians. And then more Indians come, about 600 Indian warriors come and force Reno and his men up this hill across the Little Bighorn River up to where we're standing right now. And they're taking major major casualties, major uh, uh, fatalities. And they, they rallied up here, I guess the Indians, uh, after they kicked their butt up here, they kind of took back off. So this is where they established their, their rally point, established their field aid station, and kind of resupplied and stuff like that. But by that time, Custer's over there getting his tail whooped too. So there was no, there was no help. Yeah, what he said. Now we're on the other end of the hill. Yeah. Up there, way up there is where uh, Custer Hill is, where Custer fell. And if you look back from this direction, you can see all the little white markers yeah, along the way. Yeah, as they were fleeing. As they're retreating. Yeah. They're getting mowed down by Indians yeah. as they're retreating and trying to fight at the same time. And some markers, even as far up as where Reno and them were fighting, where some yeah. of the, some of the uh, troops from 
Custer's right there where Custer uh, made the unit. Yeah. They made it all the way back over there, and I don't know if it was to go over there to tell them we need help or just tr still trying to get away. Yeah. But uh, it's very interesting, mm -hmm. and because of the markers, you're able to kind of see how... You can piece it together. Yeah, see how it unfolded. Well, yeah. So it's very interesting stuff. It is. And very cool, man. Uh, so if you get a chance to come out here, definitely do. Yeah. And for me, it's great because, you know, being part of the 7th Cavalry Regiment is just... Uh, it's cool to see the history of... You know some of the battles that were fought so long ago and they had at the visitor center when we got here i would assume as a volunteer telling the story so if you wanted yeah. to be guided and learn that way you can yeah we chose to do self-guide yeah but it's it's very cool yeah um we normally at the end of all of our videos we honor a fallen hero but i kind of feel like this video is kind of honoring right. everyone that fought here on yeah. both sides because you know the uh, the Native Americans, they're fighting for their country also. Yes. Because they felt that this was their land. Um, the soldiers were trying to you know uh, you know help the Union yeah. and abolish slavery, and in that was this was part of that. Yeah. They just felt like that. Uh, so both both sides were fighting for, fighting a, cause. for a cause. So yeah. we want to honor everybody's sacrifice out here on both sides, and um, so we won't honor a, an individual fallen hero this time. Uh, but this whole video is kind of like a tribute to all that yeah. lost their lives out here in these in these battles Yeah, so uh, we appreciate you watching though And uh, if you want to help us help vets everything you need to know is in the description below See you next time. Bye, Bye.